I wrote these words this morning in acknowledgement of um, my experience of faith, my experience that I could have the same life experience that Jesus had and what he came to do. Um, he didn't come to die, he came to live, and he came to show what life um, is all about. So I awoke this morning. I am still alive. I have been given the gift of this day, of this life. My purpose for this day is to reveal holiness, wholesomeness, the presence of the divine, which is as much a part of me as is my flesh. I create space for it and let it have its way with me. I know that kind of pleasure. I am not waiting, for I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine. I think people have a lot more ease in saying, I am my beloved's, because it implies surrender to some godlike image or um, something larger than themselves. But to actually say, and the beloved is mine, to know that kind of communion, that, um, that to me is the faith in the experience of the truth of love. I awoke this morning. I am alive. I have this union within me. The divine as, is as part of me, is as big a part of me as the flesh of me. And I will not deny it because the world has made a mockery of our humanness because it has been disconnected from the divine. And there are human beings doing all kinds of things disconnected from the truth of who they are. So may my living bring that message and reminder. I love the um, phrase in um, that said, open your heart to those who need you. The entire world needs you. You have a large party of interested listeners So is every, every word that we are speaking the word of the truth, the word of the divine, the word of the Lord? A friend of mine's mother passed away, and one of the things she wrote was, um, my mother is gone now to be with the Lord. And I thought, well, what? this might sound unkind, but what was she waiting for? We have the chance to be with the Lord now. We don't have to let up, let go of this earthly flesh to know that kind of communion, the pleasure of being alive and knowing we are filled with that intimate knowing. My purpose for this day is to reveal wholesomeness, holiness, the presence of the divine, which is as much a part of me as is my flesh. I create space for it and let it have its way with me. I know that kind of pleasure and I am not waiting. That's the invitation I extend to my world. You can do it with my words. I can do it with my smile, with my loving. You can do it with the hula. We do it because it is the truth of who we are. And it is the party we decided to come to. So let's enjoy ourselves.